What's gelling, my jellyfish? It's your boy, Jimmy Jam Jar, and we are on day seven of our playthrough of Dying Light 2. Captain, why are we watching a YouTube video? Wait for it. As always, a big thanks to my sponsor, J Nourishment Energy Drinks. Wait for it. Ah. Use my code Jimmy Jam Jar at jnourishment.com slash. <sighs> Dead. Oh my gosh. Is this my first case? Yes, you'll be working with Detective Briggs. Sorry, the Basil Briggs? Yeah, it's not that common of a name. Is it true that he has multiple personalities? 16, to be precise. Oh my gosh, I didn't see you standing there. Yeah, I get that a lot. What's your name? Put her there. Detective Magnolia Myers. Stay out of my way on this case and we'll be fine. But I'm gonna need you to step up and pull your weight. And try to have fun. Okay. The lieutenant's down at the crime scene. He can fill you in. Ah. Use my code Jimmy Jam Jar at jnourishment.com slash <sighs> 3 million views before YouTube took it down. Bitter almonds. Cyanide. How do you know that? Well, I watched a lot of Murder, She Wrote. Classic, classic show. They just don't make them like that anymore. So we've clearly got a homicide on our hands. Okay, wait a freaking second. He's dead. Who uploaded the video, huh? His ghost? Because that would be sick. His editor posted it. Guy named... Kevin. What are you waiting for, Muppets? Get him in here! Because I'd like to meet him. Yeah, I gave him a call already. All of Jam Jar's footage goes straight to the cloud in real time. They had to set it up that way because the victim was technologically challenged. Apparently, he barely even knew how to turn on his own camera. Editor Kevin thought the whole thing was a joke, so he uploaded the video instead of calling the police. Does he have an alibi for the night of the murder? Yeah, can't leave the house. Broken cockets. Hmm. I'll have to remember that excuse for the next time I'm invited out. Dude. There's gotta be a clue in one of his videos that'll lead us to more suspects. How much you wanna bet I can do parkour just like in that video game. Guess what guys? I broke things off with my girlfriend Sonya. Uh, yeah, I think she was cheating on me. But with my sponsor J Nutrients, I have all the energy I need after a night of crying into my pillow. Well, it appears that conversing with Sonia is our next logical step. And finding the other man. Could her relationship ending have pushed this Sonia so far that she would take another person's life? I guess we should just like talk to her and find out. Me? Murder Jimmy? <laughs> Jeez, oh Flint. I know, it's crazy, right? But he had dumped your sorry butt, so I can see why you might be tempted. And individuals can display irrational behavior when under extreme emotional duress. Is he okay? Yeah, he had a lot of coffee this morning. Yeah, Jimmy lied in that YouTube video, okay? I broke up with him. Explain. Please. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more information. He accused me of cheating, and I broke up with him because he was so insecure. You go, girl! Way to stand up for yourself and your boundaries. But cut the crap, were you cheating on him? Jeez, oh flip, no. Like I said, he was insecure. Any other questions? Yeah, just one. What shampoo do you use? It smells amazing. Is that ginseng? Don't hold out on me. Anyway, we'll be in touch. We are gonna live there? No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering. The like storytelling in this game is tight. I'll drink to that. Speaking of stories, let me tell you a story of how my manager, Laurel Lombardi, tricked me into signing a contract that gives her 75% of my YouTube revenue and how I'm gonna sue her butt and get out of it. This case is practically solving itself for us. Personally, I would have preferred more of a challenge, but you know, I guess this is okay. Let's give the agent a visit. Jimmy Jam Jar would be Jimmy the janitor if it wasn't for me, okay? He might also be alive. Sick burn, dude. Oh, you think I had something to do with his death? If the shoe fits. But maybe it doesn't fit. Who's to say, really? Yeah, he was a big pain, but he was a profitable pain. You stood to lose a lot of that profit if he severed ties with you. And I bet him revealing your exploitative contract terms to his millions of viewers was an embarrassing PR disaster. Ah. Yeah, especially because he made it up. Say what? So your contract wasn't split 75-25. It used to be. We renegotiated it to 50-50 a few months ago. You really should have squeezed him for more. But why would he make that up? What I learned after working with Jimmy for several years is that he's kind of a liar. I hate liars. Okay, hate's a strong word. I strongly dislike them. No, I hate him. Is he okay? Yeah, he just had some jalapenos at lunch. I like that desk. Solid oak. <laughs> 
I don't know if I can handle all this zombie killing. I'm sensitive. Not only can I play solo in Dying Light 2, but I can play co-op mode with my friend and fellow YouTuber, Ponage Pete. Or should I say my ex-friend and current enemy? What is up with this guy? He's making enemies left and right. Yeah, that's right. Pete made a video calling me a sociopath. Why? Because he's jelly of your boy, the jellyfish man, Jimmy Jam Jar, who knows what's jelly. Is it wrong of me to say that this guy kind of deserved it? Now, guys, do not unsubscribe from his channel and definitely do not leave hateful comments on his videos, okay? Most definitely do buy my sponsor, J Nourishment at Jam. <laughs> Five percent off. Let's go chat with Ponage Pete. Do we really gotta talk to him? Maybe we can just like email him some questions. Or let's just go right now. Okay. Jimmy was a sociopath, man. What empirical evidence do you have to support that assertion? Or is it just like your opinion, man? Man, I just heard it through the grapevine that he was a bad guy who only cared about himself and money. Why would I be jealous of a guy like that? So tell me something. How long have you and Sonya been carrying on a relationship behind Jimmy's back? What? Because if I just had to throw a dart behind my back, I'd guess that Sonya is the source of all the bad information you've heard about Jimmy. Yeah, well, don't quit your day job to play darts professionally, man, okay? Because you missed with that dart. Okay, so when the police subpoena your phone records, they'll see that you were just friends. Because it's gonna look really awkward if you're lying to us right now, just saying. Are we done? I got videos to film. Yeah, uh, actually, Detective Myers and I, we've gotta head out and go to a hot yoga class. You sweat out all the toxins. Unfortunately for Jimmy, the rapid action of cyanide meant that he had no opportunity to expel it from his body through perspiration before his death. Cyanide? Is that what killed him? You think he's lying? Oh, I know he's lying. Constricted pupils, shaky voice, fidgety. But even more damning, I could smell that delicious ginseng shampoo. It's hard to say. The same one that Sonya had. Both Sonya and Pete are lying. Everyone's lying. What's wrong with the world today? So are we leading towards Ponage Pete as the murderer? As much as I'd like to pin it on him so I can go home and play video games, Pete is not the murderer. And how do you know that? The killer would know the exact cause of Jimmy's death and this detail is not public knowledge. Mm. And Pete was shocked when I mentioned cyanide. This case is as cloudy as when we first started. I could have been in a barbecue! Wait a second. Cloudy. That's it! Thanks for coming in, guys. I really appreciate it. Can I get you anything? Coffee, tea, donuts? What's this all about? One of you is a murderer. Okay, what? Jeez, oh flip. Do I need my lawyer? Please, no. This scene is already way too complicated to film. Okay, I admit it. Sonia and I were in a relationship behind Jimmy's back. Shut up, Pete. Jeez, oh flip. But I didn't kill him. You stole my thunder, bra. I was gonna reveal that information myself. But you probably said it better than I could anyway. Like, it, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Pete wanted Sonya all to himself, so he killed Jimmy. Um, no, I wouldn't kill anyone, man. I'm, I'm vegan. That's enough. Shut it down. Okay, so Sonya, we know that you and Pete were talking, okay? Okay, I admit it. It was wrong of me. But Jimmy and I were on the outs, and despite what he claimed, I broke up with him. Don't lie to me, sister. It's he said, she said. Jimmy was a liar. You can't trust anything he said, especially on camera. Indeed, it is intriguing that you would bring that to our attention. We talked to Jimmy's editor, Kevin. So he says, he says, all of Jimmy's footage was being uploaded to the cloud in real time because Jimmy ain't no tech wit. In fact, Jimmy sometimes accidentally left the camera on all the time. His editor, Kevin, who's a great guy, wonderful person, he was so nice. He gave us all the footage for the week before Jimmy took the room temperature challenge. Guess what, Sonia? I'm through. I, we're done. No, no second chances. I have had enough. <sighs> Time to play some Dying Light 2. Looks like you were lying again, honey boo boo. I wouldn't kill him over a breakup. Good point. You were already in a relationship with this scrub. Doesn't really seem like enough motive to kill the ex scrub. Uh, why am I here? I got stuff to do. Correct me if I'm wrong, which happens a lot, but you said that you and Jimmy renegotiated your contract to be 50 50, right? Yes. But Jimmy claimed in his video he was only getting 25%. He was lying. Were you two physically in the same vicinity for the signing of the contract? No, it was electronic. Please tell me. Please tell me you at least negotiated 
negotiated over the phone. No, it was all email. That's just how we do business these days. My hypothesis, which I am confident is correct, is that Miss Lombardi was negotiating not with Jimmy, but with his girlfriend, Sonia. Jeez, oh flip, what are you even talking about? Sonia, you were using Jimmy's email account without his knowledge. Which was easy because he was an oblivious idiot. Oh my gosh, and she also added a second bank account so I could split the payments in two. Sonia was stealing half of Jimmy's money and he didn't even notice. So when Jimmy dumped your butt, you were in a real uncomfy situation, weren't you? Because Jimmy was gonna sue his agent, Ms. Lombardi, which would have immediately exposed your scheme, Sonia. But if you were to kill him, you could still make at least a little profit from his channel for a while. Until the YouTube algorithm, much like the Gravedigger will soon do to him, buries his channel forever. <laughs> you have no proof. Oh, she's right. Oh wait, no, I forgot. Ah, this stuff is terrible. And I gotta take a dump. This is precisely 32 minutes before Jimmy took the fatal sip. Okay, the face is all covered up. You can't prove that's me. Jeez, oh flip. Wait for it. Jeez, oh flip. His desk is a mess. <sighs> wow. Pretty serious stuff, huh? Sonia, you killed Jimmy? I want my lawyer. Booker Dano. I know, I know your name's not Dan, I'll just roll with it. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You know, Magnolia, after a long day of sleuthing, it's nice to kick back and play some Dying Light 2. Stay human. Jay Nourishment was a fictional sponsor. Dying Light 2 by Techland is the actual sponsor of this video that you are watching. In fact, this fantastic game is celebrating its first anniversary right now. Yay! Get it for up to 50% off until February 13th. Check it out right now at my link below. They say a stranger's come to